Meteorologist Chris Addings here again. I know you're getting sick of seeing my face the fourth day in a row I've done this. This will be the last time I do the briefing for this storm, though. Already starting to see some of that snow break out across the north. They'll be drifting southward as we head through the evening hours. Do have some warnings and advisories in effect. Uh, winter storm warnings, those are in the uh, purple. Many area concerns as far as lower elevations, I-80 east of Rock Springs, as well as the Casper area over toward Lander. All the other ones are mainly in the higher elevations, and that will be a big theme as I continue this briefing. And as far as uh, the uh, other areas, these are advisories, Riverton, for example, Thermopolis, Cody, also the city of Rock Springs, down to the west, down toward Evanston as well, and heading up toward the Salton, Wyoming range. You want to start in end times? Right there. I'm not going to talk for 10 minutes about these. You don't want to look at me for 10 minutes. Probably sick of looking at me already, so let's move on. These are high temperatures expected for Tuesday. It's already cooling off across much of the area. And they're not going to get much higher than what you're seeing right now. Maybe up in here it may warm up a little bit around the Bighorn Basin where it probably won't be a lot of snow, but everyone else, get used to this. It's going to be around for another day or so, but we wish it's, temperatures should be in the rebound as we head toward Wednesday and toward the end of the week. Other concern is when I confirm I went out and launched a balloon, 45 mile an hour winds out there when I launched it. That is not fun. I can tell you that right now. Big areas area concern for that. The evening hours, as the cold front drops south, maybe a brief period of high winds around Jackson down to Pinedale, 55, 60 mile an hour gusts. Main threat, though, for this, I think, will be down here around the uh, Sweetwater County, especially to the east of Rock Springs. Now, 69 miles an hour at Rock Springs, that's at the airport that's not in the city, probably closer to 50 to 55 in town. But from the airport onto the east, could be some wind gusts to 70, maybe as high as 75 miles per hour. So if you're driving a high-profile vehicle, use a lot of caution if you have to travel through here tonight or into the first part of tomorrow. As we time out the impacts, already starting to change over across the north. It's snowing in Powell right now, snowing in Buffalo as I record this. Then moving north to south this evening. Now south of the Owl Creek, the snow should hold off safe till after about dark. With the worst conditions coming in after midnight till about 6 a.m. across much of the area. Further south across Rock Springs, you should stay dry till about midnight. With the worst conditions for you, probably from about 2 a.m. to the first part of tomorrow before it improves after the midday hour. So let's stop here, let you look at this for a minute. Okay, now I want to emphasize this again. Focus on the impacts, not the snowfall amounts. Number one, it's going to be windy with the snow. It's going to blow it around. It'll make it hard to measure. In addition, how we measure snow on the weather service, we actually put down a board that's painted white and measure on that so it's cool, so it picks up a lot of snow as far as temperatures. If you're just sticking a yardstick into your front yard, a lot of that snow is going to melt on contact. You remember we had 90s not far long ago, so the ground's pretty warm. And a lot of it may melt on contact, so what we forecast might not be what you see in your lawn. But I know you want to know how much snow you're going to get. This hasn't changed too much from yesterday. High, hardest hit areas, the Wind Rivers, they could pick up locally over two feet of snow in some of the highest elevations. Around Lander, eight inches, that'll be downtown, maybe closer to a foot as you head towards Sinks Canyon. Uh, Casper also hard hit six to eight inches in town, obviously more as you head south down toward Casper Mountain past Outer Drive. Around two to three around Thermopolis and Cody, maybe locally up to four inches around Buffalo, especially west of town as you get to the higher elevations. Jefferson City about six to eight. Not quite as much down here across on the I-80 quarter, one to maybe three inches, except more as you get out toward Wamsutter, but the wind's gonna be blowing that around, making travel very, very difficult. And the uh, least snow, probably up here in the northwest, not really much around Jackson, for example, maybe a brief period after it changes over this evening. And for details, that rain will change to snow spreading north to south as we head through the uh, overnight hours. And the Tuesday, because he is in the Tuesday, starting to taper off, I think, by about noon. Now, accumulations, this will be a big thing. Elevation, that's big. You change just a few hundred feet of elevation, could make a big difference in those accumulations, and just one or two degrees will make a difference as well. Now, accumulations on the roads, especially in the lower elevations, it's not going to stick on the roads initially. We may get some slushy buildup in some of the roads unless you get a really, really heavy burst, but you're not going to get 8 to 12 inches on any of the roads anywhere. Now, in the passes, it could get rather nasty. South Pass particularly, especially later tonight, could get really, really bad. So just keep in mind if you've got to go over that. The other concern is you get strong wind gusts. This will be a heavy wet snow. It's very early in the period. Those trees still have complete full foliage on them. So there could be some downwinds that could leave some power outages. Now how bad that's going to be, I can't predict that right now. But just keep that in mind, especially later tonight once the snow gets heavier and the trees start getting weighed down a little bit. And finally, out to the snow ends. The other thing we got to worry about, below freezing temperatures. There are some low temperatures there on Tuesday night that make it down to the teens, for example, in the 20s. Many areas going below freezing, so this could be a widespread killing frost from many locations. We should have more information on that as we head toward tomorrow. Here's our resources. You want weather, you know where to go, weather.gov slash R-A-W. 
Now, road conditions, I keep emphasizing this. Don't call us for the road conditions. This is the place to go right here from YDOT. Get it right from the source. On the web, yorroad.info. If you're in state, you want to use the phone, 511. Out of state, 1-800-YORROAD. Now, if you want to take a look at those webcams for yourself, we have lots of them all over the state. Go to our website, whether I go, that should be R-A-W there. Click on local programs, then on webcams by round. Be safe, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your Labor Day.